Well, we had a lot of challenges. I mean, an underlying challenge is, of course, the very global nature of the internet, that it transcends national borders. And this, in a way, an underlying conflict with the world as we know it, which is based on recognition of national sovereignty and national borders. So this is an inherent tension. And I think this tension will grow stronger in the future. And there are many governments who try to extend the borders also into cyberspace. And the big challenge is to keep the open global uh, internet uh, as it is, that everybody has access to the same internet wherever we go. And now, obviously, there are challenges. Uh, privacy is a big challenge. Uh, surveillance has shown that also people don't necessarily trust the governments. They want to have more, no more transparency of what happens. But it's not just governments, it's also commercial uh, operations that want to know a lot about the user's privacy and individuals are increasingly concerned about this and there are no easy answers to it but I think transparency is the first uh, and maybe most important starting point that people actually know what's happening with their own data and a lot of it is also a personal responsibility, that people take responsibility for their personal data. And there are commercial aspects to this, of course. As many say, data is the new oil or the new gold. There's a lot of money involved in this. But uh, there are also creative ways of looking forward, of actually making personal use of this potential gold mine that you have creative, that you have commons of data, where you pool data together to actually make sure that the individuals benefit from the use of their data and not just big business or government. So, but this is a long debate going forward and certainly a big challenge.